morning everyone. We are camping here in Central Oregon and today we're gonna go visit the Sheep Rock Unit, which is the most popular of the three units that make up the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. And we're trying to go somewhat early so that we can get some hiking done before the day gets too hot. Is everyone ready? Yes we are. We're all loaded up in the car here. All right, let's go. We're at the Blue Basin right now, which is the main hiking destination in the Sheep Rock Unit, and for good reason too, because this area is so beautiful and unique. There are two hikes in the Blue Basin area, and we're gonna try our best to do both of them, which will be a total of four and a half miles. The first trail that we're gonna do is the most difficult of the two. It's called the Blue Basin Overlook, and it has an elevation gain of about six to 700 feet. Oh, apparently it ascends nearly 800 feet. So both the trailheads are in the same area. The overlook goes this way, and the island in time that goes into the canyon goes that way, but we're gonna do this one first. We're coming up on a boardwalk. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever been on a boardwalk that goes up, but it's really cool because we're like on a boardwalk right on a cliff. Over there, see the red? That's Painted Hills. So cool. the people walking along the trail up there. Oh my gosh, we're getting to the top. Let's find the basin. We have climbed 760 feet. There it is, the Blue Basin. Now we're heading back down. You can see people hiking over there. The views are changing as we're looping around the basin. I like the view from here, you can see into it. The blue color can't truly be captured with a camera as well as you can see it with your eyes, so I'm not sure if it's coming across uh, to you like it is to me, but it's beautiful. I think the trail is getting even more beautiful as we descend. We can officially see the parking lot. It's over there. We've walked all the way around this basin. Kira's so tired right now. She won't get up. Kira, are you gonna survive? No. Blaine found a heart-shaped rock. He's been carrying that for a while. We've officially completed the Overlook Trail and now we're gonna do another trail which is much shorter. It's called the Island in Time Trail and it's an interpretive trail and it has fossils set along the way. And it goes down into the basin. You'll have to get footage for me and Kira. We can't make it. They have metal bridges that are hard for dogs to walk on and she's been hunting shade since we got halfway past. Yeah, yeah, every time we pass shade, Kira plops down. It's too hot for her. She has too thick fur. I think just myself and Blaine, we're gonna do this trail. Merrick doesn't feel like it. I don't know about Raya. She might come, she might not. Are you gonna come on this trail with us, Raya? Okay, come on, let's go. Bye. 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 <laughs> Here's our first set of little bridges we're gonna cross. That would have been really rough on Kira's paws. We've come to our first fossil. Not sure what that is. Oh, it was a tortoise. So as the basin walls are eroded, new fossils are constantly being discovered. So it's pretty cool. Show the camera. Let's see it. Oh, are you okay? She tripped and fell on one of those bridges and the metal grates like scraped the skin off the palm of her hand and she got a scrape on her elbow. Now we're at the Thomas Condon Paleontology Center which is a free museum for the public but it's also an active research facility where scientists study the earth and the fossils found here in the John Day area. They don't allow dogs in here so Kira's gonna stay here. Not alone, Josh is gonna stay with her. Oh look, you can see where they're working over here. Doesn't look like anyone's working right now. So the view is pretty. That's a uh, sheep rock right there. If you're wondering who John Day is, 
He was a fur trader in the 1800s and he was attacked by some Native Americans where the Maha River met the Columbia River Gorge. And the Native Americans stripped him of everything, including the clothes he was wearing. And from that point on, whenever people would be traveling along the Columbia River Gorge, they would point out the mouth of the Maha River and say like, hey, that's where John Day got robbed. And eventually, the Maha River became known as the John Day River. So the John Day River obviously flows along through this area and then everything just became John Day. Well, we're back in our tent now at the campground. We're actually packing up so we can go home. Oh, Kira. She's limping. We wore you out, dog. Poor thing. I feel bad for her. Look at those cute kids. They don't know I'm filming them. Blaine, what was your favorite part of the day? Um, probably the view. The view of the overlook. Merrick, what was your favorite Kira. part of the day? Oh. I guess the blue basin. Oh, look at her. Seeing the blue basin. Raya, what was your favorite part of the day? Oh, what? <laughs> Did you like seeing the fossils? <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't tell me you're going to shove that in there. Where? Oh, right. I shocked it. Watch out. With work, we leave it open for a second. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the day? Oh, packing up everything, let me tell you. Yeah. No, um, I really liked the hike. It was really pretty seeing all the different uh, sorry, sorry. layers. Mine was the Blue Basin Overlook as well. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. Yay! See ya.